Good afternoon. This is Mr. Bazaar, and today we will be having a read aloud for our text titled, Where on Earth is My Bagel? You can find this reading in your My Book on page 108. This genre study is going to be realistic fiction. Realistic fiction stories are made up but could happen in real life. When you read Where on Earth is My Bagel, you should look for characters that act and talk like real people, problems and solutions, and ways pictures and words help readers understand the story. We should set a purpose for when reading. You should read to make smart guesses or inferences about things the author does not say. Use clues in the text and pictures to help you. So remember, when we make inferences, you use clues to make a smart guess about something the author doesn't tell you. You will use clues from the text and pictures, plus the clues from what you already know, and that will equal an inference. In our story today, we have some power words. Our first word is darting. If something is darting, it is moving from place to place very quickly. Smothered. Something that is smothered is thickly covered with something else. Nod. A nod is when you move your head up and down to show that you agree. Slippery. Something slippery is wet, smooth, and hard to hold. Hollered. If you hollered, you shouted loudly. Delight. Delight is a great joy. Fragrant. Something fragrant smells sweet. Grunted. If you grunted, you made a low, deep sound. Let's turn to page 109. 109. Look at your illustration. Look at your character. Your setting. Make a prediction about what you think this text will be like and what this text is about. Let's turn to page 110, and we will begin the story. Once there was a boy named Yum Young, who lived in the village where the mountains met the sky. There were waterfalls rushing into streams of darting fish. There were lilacs gently blossoming on every hillside, but there were no New York bagels. Let's stop there and discuss this uh, page. Where does Yum Young live? Yum Young lives in a village near mountains. What details in the text and picture tell you more about this place? So look at your illustration. The text says that the Yum Young's village has waterfalls rushing into streams and lilacs blossoming on every hillside. So in your illustration, it should show that Yum Young farmland and houses. There's farmland and houses. There's hills. There's mountains. There's a stream. Let's continue on page 111. How a New York bagel popped into Yum Young's head was a mystery. Perhaps it came to him in a dream smothered with cream cheese. Or maybe he heard sparrows singing of bagel crumbs in Central Park. However it happened, Yum Yum could not stop thinking about a golden brown bagel with a curious hole in the middle. The very idea made it his tummy growl, 
and his mouth water. Yum Yum declared, I want a bagel. Let's turn to page 112. Now dreaming about a New York bagel and actually eating a New York bagel were worlds apart. Yum Young wondered, where can I find a bagel? He wondered and wondered until he came up with an idea. I will send a message, he said. So he sat on a rock and began to write. Dear New York, I would like to order one bagel to go. Please send it to me as soon as possible. Respectfully yours, Yum Young in Korea. Yum Young carried his message to a mountaintop where birds flocked. Soon a pigeon landed on his shoulder. Yum Young tied his message to the bird's tiny leg, and the pigeon flew off into the clouds. Pigeon, he cried out, please return with my bagel. Let's pause there. So as I read this page, I wonder why Yum Young goes to, through so much trouble to get a New York bagel. Can he just call a bagel shop or order one online? Then I remember that he lives in a small village in the mountains. Maybe they don't have phones or internet there. It's also possible that this story takes place in the past before internet or phones existed. I think that's why he has a pigeon carry his request to New York. He doesn't have any other way to get it there. Let's look at page 113. Look at your illustration. What is Yum Young doing in this picture? So it seems like he is looking at the moon, but he is actually imagining and looking at a bagel in the sky. Let's start at the top of the page. Yum Young waited and waited on the mountaintop. He waited until the sun dipped below the mountains. He waited until the sky was blanketed with stars. But the pigeon did not return with his New York bagel. Yum Young decided that his bagel must be lost. Perhaps the pigeon dropped his bagel on the wrong mountaintop. Or maybe it was delivered to the wrong person. However it happened, Yum Young would not give up hope. A search was in order, Yum Young declared. Where on earth is my bagel? What kind of person do you think Yum Young is? I think that Yum Young is patient. He waits and waits for his bagel. Also, he doesn't give up easily. When his bagel does not arrive, he does not lose hope. He decides to search for his lost bagel. What do you think is going to happen next in the story? Where do you think Yum Young will go? What will he do? I think he will send another message to New York. Maybe he will ask what happened to his bagel, or maybe they sent his bagel to the wrong place. Let's turn to page 114. Take a look at your illustration, your characters. Let's start at the top of the page. The next morning, Yum Young visited Farmer On who was pushing his plow in a field of wheat. Excuse me, Farmer On, Yum Young said. Have you seen my missing bagel? Farmer On wiped the sweat off his forehead. Bagel? What in the farmer's field is a bagel? It is round and has a hole in the middle, Yum Young explained. Hmm, Farmer On said with a nod. He pointed to his plow wheel. Is that a bagel? Yum Young frowned. No, that is not my bagel. I am sorry, Yum Young, Farmer On said. I know about wheat that grows from the rich brown earth, 
but I know nothing about bagels. So Yum Yum goes to the farm to visit Farmer On because he thinks that Farmer On might know where his lost bagel is. Is this what you predicted Yum Yum would do next? I predicted that Yum Yum would try to solve his problems on his own and would send another message to New York. But now it seems that Yum Yum is taking it upon himself to find his bagel and to visit with people from his village and see if they maybe have seen his bagel. Why do you think that Farmer On thinks his plow wheel is a bagel? Yum Yum tells him that a bagel is round with a hole in the middle. The picture shows that his plow wheel looks like that. It is also round with a hole in the middle. Let's turn to page 116. Next, Yum Yum visited Fisherman Key, who was on the boat shaking slippery fish out of his net. Excuse me, Fisherman Key, Yum Yum shouted. Have you seen my missing bagel? Fisherman Key threw his net back into the water with a splash. Bagel? What in the salty sea is a bagel? It is round and it has a hole in the middle, Yum Yum explained. Oh, Fisherman Key said with a nod. He pointed to his life ring floating below. Is that a bagel? Yum Yum frowned. No, that is not my bagel. I am sorry, Yum Yum, Fisherman Key said. I know about fish that swim in the sea, but I know nothing about bagels. Turn to page 118. Next, Yum Yum visited Beekeeper Lee, who was collecting honey from a beehive. Excuse me, Beekeeper Lee, Yum Yum hollered from a distance. Have you seen my missing bagel? Beekeeper Lee raised her bee veil. Bagel? What in the sweet name of honey is a bagel? It is round and has a hole in the middle, Yum Yum explained. Ah, Beekeeper Lee said with a nod. She pointed to the thick swarm of bees circling over her head. Is that a bagel? Yum Yum frowned. No, that is not my bagel. I'm sorry, Yum Yum, Beekeeper Lee said. I know about buzzing business of bees, but I know nothing about bagels. Yum Yum sat down on a quiet hillside and moaned. All hope for a bagel seemed lost. Then a delicious smell tickled his nose. He sniffed curiously. Where was it coming from? Yum Yum looked into the valley and blinked with delight. There was O's Heavenly Bakery. So the text says that Yum Yum blinked with delight. When he looked into the valley and saw O's Heavenly Bakery, I wonder what made him so happy. I know that he has not been able to find his bagel. Farmer On, Fisherman Key, and Beekeeper Lee have all said they know nothing about bagels. Yum Yum hasn't asked O oh, at the Heavenly Bakery yet, but since a bagel is a kind of bread, I'll bet she might be able to tell Yum Yum where he can find it. I think that's where he's happy, why he's happy. He knows he'll have more luck if he asks a baker where his bagel is. Let's turn to page 120. Take a look at your illustration. Take a look at your new character. So the woman in the picture looks like she is making bread. 
So I can infer, I can make a smart guess that she is O. She is smiling at Yum Yum, so I can infer that she is kind. She is listening to what Yum Yum has to say, so I can infer, I can make a guess that she cares about him and wants to help him. Top of the page on 121. Yum Young rushed into O's Heavenly Bakery, where Baker O was making one of her famous rice cakes. Baker O, Yum Young pleaded, please tell me you have my missing bagel. Baker O sprinkled a few pine nuts on the rice cakes. Bagel? What in the baker's kitchen is a bagel? It is round and it has a hole in the middle. Yum Yum explained. I am very sorry, Yum Yum, Baker O said. I have not seen your missing bagel, but maybe that pigeon tapping on the window has better news for you. Let's turn to page 122. Baker O opened the window the bird flew in and landed on Yum Yum's shoulder with a message. While Baker O fed the pigeon rice cake crumbs, Yum Yum read the message out loud. Dear Yum Yum, thanks a million for your order of one bagel to go. I'm real sorry, but my bagels only stay fresh on the same day that they're made. So I'll do the next best thing and send you the secret recipe for my number one New York bagel. Good luck, Joe, from Joe's To Go Bagels. P.S. Recipe on the other side. Baker O studied the recipe, then frowned. I'm afraid I do not have all the special ingredients to make a New York bagel, yum yum. My sweet rice cakes are made with rice, sugar, and water. This bagel calls for flour, sea salt, and honey. Yum Yum jumped. Did you say flour, sea salt, and honey? Yes, Baker O replied. I will return, Yum Yum promised. Let's turn to page 124. And indeed he did return, with Farmer On, Fisherman Key, and Beekeeper Lee. I have the flour, exclaimed Farmer On. I have the sea salt, exclaimed Fisherman Key. And I have the honey, exclaimed Beekeeper Lee. It was time to make a New York bagel. Baker O tied an apron around Yum Yum's waist. Following the recipe, Yum Yum instructed Farmer On to sift flour into a mixing bowl. He instructed Fisherman Key to sprinkle in the sea salt. He instructed Beekeeper Lee to spoon in the golden honey. Then Beekeeper O poured in the water and tossed in a pitch of yeast. What is Yum Young's job in the illustration? What is he doing? Yum Young's job is to read the instructions in the recipe. Farmer On, Fisherman Key, and Beekeeper Lee have never made a bagel before, so they need Yum Young to tell them what to do. Let's turn to page 126. Yum Yum kneaded the fragrant dough and formed it into a ring shape. He perfected the edges, especially for the hole in the middle. He dropped the dough into a large pot of simmering water. Minutes later, it floated to the top. Then Yum Yum sprinkled it with sesame seeds, and into the oven it went. 
Yum Yum watched the dough magically puff higher and higher until it nearly filled the whole oven until it was golden brown bagel. So why does Yum Yum pay special attention to making sure the edges of the bagel's hole is perfected? Yum Yum thinks the hole is an important part of the bagel. I think he wants to make sure you can see the hole when the bagel is finished. Page 127. The bagel was so big that Farmer On, Fisherman Key, Beekeeper Lee, and Baker O had to help Yum Yum carry it out of O's Heavenly Bakery. They all grunted as they set the bagel down under the permission tree on the quiet hillside. Yum Yum broke off a piece of the bagel for each of his friends. Hmm, said Farmer On. Oh, oh, said Fisherman Key. Ah, oh, said Beekeeper Lee. Hmm, said Baker O. So the text says that Yum Yum broke off a piece of the bagel for each of his friends. What can you infer from this? Even though he wanted a bagel since the beginning of the story, he does not take a piece right away. Instead, he gives some to his friends first. I can infer that he is showing his friends that he is grateful for their help. So each character was an important person along the way that he met. Farmer On had the wheat, Fisherman Key had the sea salt, Beekeeper Lee had the honey, and Baker O helped put everything together and they baked it at her bakery. Let's turn to page 128. The moment had finally come for Yum Yum to eat his New York bagel. He closed his eyes and took his first bite. It was a perfect bagel, with a hint of honey, so sweet it made him sigh. It was soft and plump and chewy and delicious all in one bite. It was so heavenly, he could even taste the curious hole in the middle. Yum Yum declared, at last, I have my bagel. So how do you think Yum Yum feels at the end of this story? The text says that Yum Yum's bagel was perfect and heavenly. It tasted delicious. So I think that he feels happy and that he didn't give up on his dream even when it was difficult. I also think he feels proud that he and his friends worked together to make the bagel themselves. Let's turn to page 129 and take a look at some of our discussion questions. Number one, the question is, Yum Yum decides that his bagel must be lost. What does he do next? What does that tell you about Yum Yum? So he decides that his bagel must be lost. What does he do next? He decides to search for his bagel next. It shows he doesn't give up. It also shows how much he wants a bagel. Number two, what is the setting? How is the setting important to the story events? The setting is a quiet village far, far away from New York. The setting is important to the story because Yum Yum could not get a New York bagel where he lives. Number three, how do the people in Yum Yum's community work together to solve his problem? 
the farmer, the beekeeper, and the fisherman share ingredients, and Baker O follows the recipe to make the bagel.